little artist, today I'm going to show you how to complete a weaving project called a gaza. For this project you will need some scissors, some yarn, you can have as many colors as you would like, and you will also need two popsicle sticks. To make this project easier, I went ahead and used a hot glue gun to glue my popsicle sticks together to make a plus sign. If you do not have anyone to help you do that, then you can make a plus sign by tying your sticks together with the yarn. Now I'm going to start with the yarn. I'm going to take the end of the yarn and I'm going to hold it in the middle of my plus sign and you can see that I'm holding it really tight. And I'm going to start winding the yarn around top to bottom about three or four times. Once I get that done, I go the opposite direction, side to side, and now my yarn has created a plus sign. This will hold the end of the yarn in place so I do not have to tie it. Next I'm going to use a pen to mark one side of the popsicle with a dot. This will help me keep track of the back side of my project. Now I'm going to start on the popsicle that I added the dot to. And you see that my yarn is coming from under that stick. I'm going to wrap the yarn from under over the stick and then it goes back under to the next popsicle stick. Go over, under, to the next popsicle stick. Over, under, to the next popsicle stick. And I keep this pattern going on and on. As I keep this pattern going, you should start to notice that the yarn seems to be going completely around the popsicle sticks. Keep your yarn pieces close together and tight. Once you've done this pattern a few times, you should be able to flip your popsicle stick over and check the other side to see a beautiful pattern beginning. Make sure that as you begin to work again, that you are working on the side with the dot. Now you can choose to continue this pattern with the same color yarn or if you would like, you could stop using this color and switch to another. To do this, I pull out a long piece to make a long tail and I cut it leaving extra. Then I grab the end of my second color and I tie the two together. Keep your work looking neat, make sure to cut the extra ends off of the knot. Once that is done, you can go back to your weaving pattern, the same pattern, and make sure you're going in the same direction. Of course, also make sure that you're working on the side that contains the dot. You can make your God's eye as big or as small as you would like. To make it larger, just keep going with the same pattern. 
However, do not get too close to the edges of your popsicle sticks or your pattern could come unraveled. Once you have filled in the pattern as much as you would like, you will need to tie off the end of your yarn. To tie it off, pull out a long piece Make your cut leaving a lot of extra yarn. Then tie the piece to the popsicle stick. Always double knot and all that means is when you wrap it one time, leave your loop, send it through, and then do the same again. Wrap it, leave a loop, send the end through, and pull it tight. Now you can use the extra to help you hang the piece. You can even add a little loop at the end to help you hang it. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you did, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out some of my other weaving projects.